Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I have a anti-haul slash will I buy for you. Um, as you guys know, there are always a lot of new releases coming out left and right. And this is kind of how I sort through and figure out, am I gonna buy it, am I not gonna buy it? Is it even worth your time? And I just kind of like sharing that with you guys. So let's go ahead and get right down to business. So the first thing on the list is going to be from Dose of Colors. They are coming out, or sorry, I think it's already available. Um, they have come out with 20 different single eyeshadow shades for $20 a piece, okay? Now, I have my Marvelous Mauves. I absolutely love this formula. This is such a great palette. I love the eyeshadows in here. Um, they are beautiful. They blend very, very well. So I'm very happy with Dose of Colors. However, I am more of a palette person, so this is not something I would definitely lean towards. Plus, $20 for one eyeshadow is kind of steep i mean i'm sure you get a, a, a big amount of product but if i wanted to get three different colors that's going to be more than my anastasia beverly hills soft glam palette and that is not okay for me um even when you look at this picture I'll, there's like three colors that look exactly the same to me on that bottom row uh the one on let's see right kind of next to that black and then if you scroll down to three different the the third one from that those look the same to me and then I mean I'm sure they're not in person but the swatches on this arm they all look very very similar so like I said I'm a palette person anyway this is extremely expensive this is a hard pass for me I want nothing to do with this collection um, it's not something that I would recommend to run out and, you know, spend your money on. So this is going to be a no. All right. So the next item will have been released by the time I upload this video. This is going to be a new part of the Fenty Beauty collection. Um, she is releasing, I think, new highlighters. She's got iridescent lip luminizers. Um, they're trios for $32 a piece. Uh, there are two-in-one liquid eye shimmer liquid eyeshadows. So those will all be available, of course, on Sephora.com and I'm sure FentyBeauty.com. Uh, um, I love her kilowatt highlighters. They are so bomb. I have, uh, what is it, Mean Money, Hustler Baby, and um, Girl Next Door, and Chick, Chick Freak. <laughs> These highlighters are amazing. They are so nice on the cheek. They don't texturize, they stay on all day. They give you a killer glow. So obviously I love them, I have two of them. Um, but these are shades that I would not invest in. You have like a bright orange, a bright purple, kind of like a deep bluish purple, and that's not something I'm really looking for putting on my cheek. Um, I know that is great for some people, but for someone like me, um, that is not something I typically go for. Um, but if it is your thing, I would recommend looking into them because, like I said, they are bomb highlighters. I know you can use them for your eyes as well, but that's kind of pricey. These are $36, I believe. Um, so a $36 duo eyeshadow, that's, that's crazy. Um, I would not recommend doing that at all. So speaking of highlighters, this next one, I'm actually kind of... I'm thinking about. I can't say yes, I'm gonna do it, or no, I'm not, but, but Anastasia Beverly Hills has announced their new glow kit. It is the Dream Palette, and this is going to be available May 22nd, so by the time this video is up, it will already have been released. Um, she is coming out with six new shades, Wish, Unicorn, Magical, Ethereal, Sunshine, and Regal, and I have seen the swatches to these, and they look really pretty. <laughs> they look really pretty. I actually missed out on the um, Moonchild and Aurora. Those just didn't really appeal to me as much, but these do. And she did live swatches and she had kind of addressed, you know, people saying that, they, oh, there's, there's glitter in there. She's like, there's no glitter whatsoever. It is just a shifting color that you see. The shimmer, it is just that bright. So I might be picking this up um we'll see we'll see how that goes but I'm definitely 
interested in this. I have been looking at every swatch that I could possibly see on Instagram on this palette. So I would say I'm highly interested in this. All right, so moving on, let's talk about this. Um, Kylie Cosmetics collabed with her mom, uh, Kris Jenner, and she came out with the Momager collection. Um, as you guys know, I have purchased from Kylie in the past. The lipsticks were really nice. The customer service sucked. Um, so that's why I kind of have been keeping away from her, her stuff. All right, so um, she did come out with the whole entire collection. You get a face powder palette for $48, which is crazy expensive, just like the Kylie ones. Um, the eyeshadow palette for $42, the lipstick for $17, the lip pencil for $12, um, the lip set, the momager set for $42, and you get eight different shades in that. Um, so let's start with the eyeshadow palette. This is a completely cool tone palette. This is not really something I pull for. I am more of like a warm tone or obviously bright colors uh, when I look at palettes. So this is definitely something I would pass over. Um, I have been watching reviews on this and they are, eh, they don't hate it. They don't love it kind of thing. Um, the packaging is so awesome on this. I will give them kudos for really cool packaging um but i would definitely pass over the eyeshadow palette the lipstick and the lip pencil look really really pretty um i saw that they are actually the exact same color so you can use both of them together i know sometimes um the lip pencil doesn't quite match the lipstick but in this case um it does so um but i do have plenty of lipsticks and i won't be purchasing that uh, the powder palette, um, I know, who was it? I think it was Jaclyn Hill, if I'm not mistaken. She did a review on this whole collection, and she could not get the blush to show up on her cheek, like, at all. And if she can't get blush, blush to show up, then there's something wrong, okay? Let's just, I'm, I'm just saying. Um, but, however, out of this whole entire collection, what has my eye would be that lip set. The momager set you get four velvets one matte and three glosses and this set looks gorgeous the colors look gorgeous and i do enjoy um the velvet formula and their her glosses i really do like her formulas for that and i know it's 42 dollars, but you do get eight different ones so i mean that is a pretty decent deal but I still probably am going to pass over this whole collection. Number one, because I don't need lipsticks. I have like a whole drawer full. Um, and number two, because I did receive bad customer service when I purchased um, from her in the past. Um, it was a mistake on their part. And they still kind of like had a bad attitude towards me um, when I was emailing back and forth. And that's another thing I don't like about her company. You can't call and talk to someone live you actually have to wait via email and that's not okay for me i don't like that kind of thing so this is going to be a whole pass for me all right so tarte just released a new palette i love tarte so much i think they are an amazing brand um you know they are cruelty free they <sighs> I just love Tarte. Tarte has a special place in my heart. Um, but they just came out with a new palette and it's a with a collaboration from Aspen Novar? O Ovard? I, I don't know who this person is. Um, you know, typically when there is a collaboration, in order for me to be interested, number one, um, I have to really enjoy the person I'm when I, that's usually what gets me most excited about a collaboration um, number two the the item itself whether it be a blush palette a highlighter palette um, an eyeshadow palette whatever it is has to draw me in it has to be something that I am like oh my gosh yes I I have to have that um, this does not do that for me so when I look at this palette it's pretty much colors that I have in all the other palettes, um, like a highlighter and a blush, which I have all theirs basically. So um, nothing really draws me in. And if you look at the swatches, the swatches are like, eh, tan, a little bit of pink, tan, a little bit of pink. So 
this is a no-go for me. I will not get this. I don't know who the collaboration is with. This is not somebody I follow and the eyeshadow palette is nothing that I'm interested in. Nothing screams my name. The packaging on the outside I will say is pretty but I'm not gonna buy a palette just for packaging. Sorry, not gonna do it. Um, so yes, Tarte probably, hopefully next eyeshadow palette, I gotcha. All right guys, I am so freaking excited for this next item. I saw this picture up on Trend Moon. I do follow Trend Moon for all the latest releases um, on Instagram. And it is from the Dominique Cosmetics. She is releasing a whole lemonade collection. And now look at this. This is the only picture that I have to go off on. And I am super excited for it. Number one, those lipsticks, they look so pretty. And I know I don't need any more, but I would definitely buy at least three of those. Three of those colors are definitely calling my name. And then that palette, if if this palette is everything that I am looking for um, as far as what it looks like on the packaging, then I am buying this sucker, okay? Um, it has yellow on there. It has pink on there. It's called Lemonade. So I'm thinking, you know, Lemonade, Pink Lemonade, Strawberry Lemonade. I'm thinking all these things. And I just really want a pink and yellow palette. So if this is as pretty on the inside as I am hoping it will be, you can bet that I will be picking this up. Um, I really hope this is not a letdown. I'm crossing my fingers, but as soon as I see the inside, um, I will definitely make that choice. But just from packaging alone, I want this so bad, so, so bad. Um, we don't even have a date for when it's gonna be releasing. It just says coming soon, so this is going to be on my wish list all right another color pop release as we all know color pop releases everything left and right like every two weeks they have a new release um but they came out with their big fame palette i guess is for their kind of like anniversary um you are supposed to spend ten dollars and get a free uh super so super shock shadow um of course while supplies last but I look at this palette and there is nothing that excites me. I know some people kind of like their neutral brown tones and that's fine. Um, but for me, I have to have a palette say my name and this does not say my name. I look at the swatches and I'm just like, eh, no big deal. I mean, the outside packaging is more interesting than the palette itself. And that says a lot right there. So I will be passing on this. Um, this is not something I'm interested in. When I first saw it, I was just like, oh, okay, no big deal. Um, and if I definitely make that reaction, I'm not going to be purchasing that. All right, and coming up with our last item, this is from Huda Beauty. Now, as you guys all know, she was supposed to discontinue the Rose Gold palette. Um, I know that palette did not have the best of reviews, um, but it was still a pretty palette, and I believe... I'm not really sure, but I think it was their first palette. Um, so, you know, trial and error. Obviously, she knocked it out of the park when she did the Desert Dusk. So she said that palette was going away. And then she announced, um, you know, a couple months later that she was making, she was bringing out a new palette. So everybody got excited. You know, she has her little mini pa obsession palette. She has the Desert Dusk. She's been doing so great. Um, we get a new palette super super excited and then she announces that she is has reformulated the rose gold um palette now um i have kind of mixed emotions about this number one she made it frantic for people saying that the rose gold uh palette was going away you're never gonna see it again and a lot of people rushed out to go pick that up because you know i was even interested at in picking it up at one point but i was kind of taking my sweet time because i didn't know that it was going to be discontinued um <clears throat> but had I known I probably would have picked it up myself and then to come out with the announcement that she reformulated it um was kind of a shock because that was not the plan it was supposed to be discontinued so I got mixed emotions about that if you're going to pull it off the shelves just be like okay we're gonna put this off the shelves we're gonna reformulate it and we're gonna bring it back no big deal 
everything would have been fine but the fact that she said it's going to be discontinued and then a couple months later she decides to bring it back reformulated eh, and that kind of sits wrong with me um now <laughs> i am still interested in trying it the shades still look gorgeous now i was watching here for the t2 and she was going kind of over like the swatches and stuff and on the swatches that huda beauty released you can actually see that they had already been swatched and they are doing it a second time but they're trying to make it look like it was the first swatch so that to me says that maybe they did not correct that formula as much as she would have liked i don't know i can't say i haven't touched the palette at all yet um i don't know this one is up in the air let me let me know what you guys think about this um you know i love her desert du desert dust palette i love her you know her beauty obsessions palette but i just don't like the way that she went about releasing this palette rather than saying it was discontinued um you know hey we're gonna go take care of this and we'll bring it back i just don't like the way that that was done so i don't know if i will be picking this up but um i would love to hear your guys thoughts uh didn't mean to get so deep about that palette but you know it is what it is anyways so is there anything new coming out that you guys are interested in is there anything that i've mentioned in this video that you guys plan on getting just let me know in the comment down below i would love to hear what you guys think um if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can be notified of any videos that i may have i normally upload videos on mondays and fridays um you can also follow me on instagram and twitter and i will have those linked down below as well and i will see you guys on my next video bye